cloth that largely represents Ghana, its culture and its people is the kente. It is an iconic representation of the country's history, ethnic groups, social values and heritage. A fabric believed to be inspired by the spider's artistry at making its web, kente's foundation dates back to the 17th century. From royalty to the common man, kente is a symbol of wealth. Kente was originally used in certain forms and specifically for uh, some specific people. It was meant for people in higher places, chiefs, queens, uh, Abrampon, who are uh, next to the kings and queens, and then uh, people who were very rich. With an ever more fashionable and fashion-conscious society, Kente is taking center stage in all locations these days. Kente has been modernized and used beyond the Ghanaian royal court as there are now different versions, new patterns and colors. When I got into the business, it was more about the traditional Kente, like the agency, Jinso, um, Fatia Fatankroma and the likes. Those were the ones that were there in colors. But um, with time, you know, things have to evolve. People prefer other things. You can't keep having the same fatia fat and chroma for everyone. So to be able to be in business, are you supposed to have work to do? And to keep it exciting for the customers, we have to evolve. And that is where all these modern types are coming into play. Baba Ankara has been in the kinte cloth business for 12 years. She tells me not only have things evolved in the past 10 years, but 80% of her clients would rather have the modern kinte than the traditional ones. The cost, however, an issue for many. Expensive is good. It's hand woven. It's hard work. It's hard labor. We have to make the people that sit and weave this thing have the pride. Anything handmade is luxury. We are supposed to promote our own and support. We travel outside Ghana and, and really spend on expensive things. I agree it should be affordable for a lot more people to own it, but we shouldn't downplay it. Bertha Sapong is creative director of Mother Better, a fashion house that is known for typically making kente outfits. These days when anybody walks in, being it uh, wanting a graduation outfit, uh, being it wedding guest outfit, bridal, birthday party, they all want to, you know, have a kente outfit. Say about 80% of the people who come and request for an outfit would want the new modern kente. There have been concerns, however, regarding the excessive use of the modern kente. Also, Ibunsu Safukantanka is unhappy with how the cloth is used sometimes. Certainly, if you have something you treasure, you don't have to demean it by using it as a rack, using it as a tablecloth, using it for other things that are not important. We have to be very selective, know which areas are demeaning and which areas should not be used. Both Baba and Bertha also believe history is not being distorted with how the cloth has evolved. They, however, would not want the public to lose sight of it completely. The colors will change, it will revolve over time. That is how we would get people still in love with Kente. But then it's not taking the authenticity anyway, because that is in the work that goes in, in the weaving processes. We shouldn't let go of the traditional Kente entirely, but I think that we should also evolve at the same time. So I feel like uh, we should just add onto the old designs so that it, it makes it a bit interesting. Whether modern or traditional, Kente would forever be of high value and always be a representation of the culture and heritage of Ghana and protecting it will be in the best interest of the country. Aisha Yakubuhalid, TV3 News, Accra.